Welcome gamers, this is Danny4842. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Nintendo K channel. And today I have a very special video and it's the Nintendo World Store Tour. Now many of you are uh, probably not aware or if you followed me long enough, uh, my last Nintendo Store Tour was in uh, three years ago where I made an update video of the showcase at the store. And on four years ago, I made a full in-depth tour of every part of the store to show to the world. Um, it is my one of my most requested video and also one of my most successful videos of all time And uh, I'm proud to show you what changes that has been done all these years And I'm pretty sure many of you will find very cool surprises many goodies to be had and uh, Things that you would just get you just want in your collection So I uh, hope you guys stay tuned to the very end of this video uh, I'll be giving you a little surprise at the end So make sure to stay tuned to the far end of the video and you get to see what I have intended for you, just, just to give you a hint, it is Zelda related, so if you're a big Zelda fan, so do check that out. Uh, also to let you, uh, just as a favor, uh, I want to get feedback from you guys. Uh, if you watch this video, just put down in the comment below what you think of what you uh, of this video, what things that you like to have in your collection, or what interests you, or even uh, what you think of this uh, presentation. So just give me some feedback, I'm, I'm, I'm open to suggestions. And if you enjoyed this video, and you'd like to see updates of it in the future, you know, just let me know. I appreciate that. So this is Danny442. I'll be switching to the other camera. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks again. We're here at the Nintendo World Store located at 10 Rockefeller Plaza in New York City at Rockefeller Center. The store is open on May 14, 2005 and as of this video, it is celebrating its 10 year anniversary. It is a 10,000 square foot long store filled with interactive game demos, accessories, apparel, and collectibles and includes a variety of Nintendo products that are exclusive to the store. We're going to start the tour of the Nintendo World Store by entering the first floor. Uh, as you can see from the window when I was past in the beginning of this video, that Nintendo is promoting its latest and greatest game for the Nintendo 3DS and also Nintendo Wii U. And that is Super Smash Bros. A franchise that is long and dear to me that I love since the Nintendo 64 days that I played with my friends a lot and it's really exciting to see a brand new game in its franchise. The store contains two floors and is labeled as level 1 and level 2 and on each floor they contain some pretty cool features such as this Nintendo 3DS circle. Now this is where anyone can come up and sit down in these comfortable seats and play the variety of games that they have for the system in a competitive or co-op uh, game setting on, on these Nintendo 2DS systems and here we have are some Nintendo 3DS uh, kiosks where they let you try out the latest and greatest games for the system um, and you can see it spans all the way to the front door of the, of the store and that's the first thing you see and the first thing you can play once you enter the store. Around the corner they have a variety of plushies from the Super Mario Bros franchise that's available to purchase and it's nice to see they have a cool selection of bad guys from the Super Mario World universe. In the same corner they have this amiibo kiosk where they have on display the very common amiibos for you to purchase and if you guys not aware Nintendo Store does have the tendency to restock a lot of the hard to find amiibos out there so if you're in the area do check out the store you might get a chance to pick up one of the hard amiibos that you might be missing in your collection. Toward the side of the store above the Nintendo 3DS kiosk you see these large posters which Nintendo decorated with a variety of fighters from the Super Smash Bros. universe and it gives a nice vibe to the environment and a great way for Nintendo to celebrate its glorious history of memorable franchises. To commemorate the launch of Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, Nintendo and its partners on a limited time basis on display at the Nintendo Store created exclusive artwork to introduce a new selection of new characters joining the battle and that includes Mega Man, Pac-Man, Villager, and uh, Little Mac from the Punch-Out series, which of all can be seen here. Moving toward the left from the entrance, Nintendo World is a retail store after all, and that will include a wide range of Nintendo merchandise all found in one location. Right away, you'll see a sweet selection of Kirby-themed t-shirts, Mario, and also Zelda. Zelda-themed t-shirts are always one of my favorite things to pick up from the store as it is one of my most cherished series growing up. Here we see a small selection of Kirby plushies and a unique collection of Mario-themed sleepwear. They also have a variety of Nintendo-themed shirts including Nintendo Power, Super Nintendo, and a classically trained 
uh, NES shirt and it was one of my favorites and I do have them in my wardrobe. Here we have our various manga from Viz Media which span it from different games from the Zelda series. With these manga you can actually understand more of the Zelda mythology and on that note uh, they have the Hyrule Historia on display for purchase which explains the entire timeline and history of the Zelda franchise so it's a really interesting read and highly recommend it if you able to get one. As the store has a wide selection of clothing to purchase, they also have accessories to go along with it, which include Zelda themed carrying bags, uh, keychains, wallets, and plushies. As you can see from here, Toon Link and the lovable Tingo are available for purchase. Toward the bottom we have a Monopoly, the Legend of Zelda Collector's Puzzle, and a Gashapon figure collection. Here we have is some various hats from uh, Mario Brothers franchise, uh, Bowser, Yoshi, and uh, Dry Bones. Speaking of hats or any items in the store generally, they do tend to rotate their selection periodically, so you may see a different item on each visit. So make sure to grab what you see and you may not see it again in the next visit. Here are two of my favorite hats, which includes 8-bit Mario Sprite and his NES controller retro theme hat. Um, on the note of retro, they do carry an array of retro NES themed accessories such as keychains, wallets, and pocketbooks. Moving toward the bottom, you may not be aware, New York is a very cold place in the winter, so they do carry a selection of winter accessories to gear you up for the season. Now moving away from apparel, here we have some Mario brick breaking and superstar candies. What's cool about these is that they have a variety of these Nintendo franchise themed shells holding these candies and can be a cool display piece in your game room, such as that Nintendo Wii remote controller and this NES Nintendo Power theme candy. Of course, going through the store and picking out what you want to add to your collection at the end of the day, you can check it out here. On a side note, make sure to talk to the friendly Nintendo World Store employees known as ambassadors. I'm sure you will strike an interesting conversation with them as they may just be as big of a Nintendo enthusiast as you are. Around the checkout counters as seen here, there are various Nintendo keychains and mugs that are exclusive only to the store. Make sure to pick them up when you have a chance. I for one have the mug with Link on it as it was a gift from an individual close to me. Moving toward the backside of level 1 floor, here we have a chance to see a large array of accessories for your Nintendo 3DS system. As we move toward the right, here are the Nintendo 3DS games available for purchase. They have a game selection ranging from prepaid downloadable codes for the Nintendo eShop to physical games. The available titles ranges from third party franchises from games such as LEGO Star Wars, Skylanders, Harvest Moon, Bravely Default, and Sonic to name a few. They also have a wide range of Nintendo franchise games such as The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds, Yoshi's New Island, Animal Crossing New Leaf, Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, Pokemon games such as like uh, X and Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Now we have completed level 1 as we walk toward the stairs. Moving on to level 2, we are greeted by this amazing bigger than life statue of Donkey Kong. Little known fact about this statue, it was actually the same one used after E3 2013 when they were promoting Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. And speaking of E3 2013, that was the last one that late Satoru Iwata has attended before passing in 2015. As we say goodbye to level 1, we get a last look with his pan view of the first floor. Uh, of all the things that we went through. Like in level 1, here we see some more awesome artwork displayed showing the various new characters joining the Super Smash Bros. universe. Moving up the stairs, passing the colorful Nintendo World wall, this is a pan view of the level 2 floor, giving you a glimpse of what exciting features this level has to offer. In my opinion, this is where the real excitement begins. The Nintendo Wii U takes center stage with its multiple interactive display kiosk, more video game merchandise to explore, and lastly, the exciting Nintendo World Showcase. So let's get started. Toward the center, we are greeted by this life-size Mario Amiibo. Like the Donkey Kong statue, it too had its beginnings at E3 2014, and now is placed here for all to enjoy. On the backside of this life-size Mario Amiibo, we are greeted to an amazing Amiibo Showcase. Now it is where anyone can come up close and see their favorite characters. They display all available and upcoming amiibos up to wave 4 as of recording this video. If you're not aware of what an amiibo is, I don't know where you've been all these years, 
It is actually a, a series of Nintendo character toys that interact with multiple games on Nintendo Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. And how it works is actually by tapping an amiibo to a Wii U gamepad controller or a Nintendo 3DS system to compatible Nintendo games. And, you, and what you get is uh, new outfits, power-ups, or other fun bonuses. To me, as a long-time fan of Nintendo and in, as a Nintendo collector, I have a passion of collecting all of them. It's certainly a thrill to hunt for the amiibo, and that's its allure, and that's my take on it. To name a few, some of my favorite amiibos are Toon Link, Sheik, Pac-Man, Shulk, and the Fire Emblem characters such as Marth, Ike, Lucina, and Robin. I think these are one of the best sculpted and painted amiibo thus far. Be sure to tell me what your favorites are, as I'll be interested to hear what your thoughts on it. To give you an idea of what the entire amiibo showcase looks like, stepping back, you can see all the amiibos are lined up neatly around the circumference of the display. Moving back up to the life-size Mario amiibo, we are now at the interactive Wii U display kiosk. This is where anyone can pick up a Wii U gamepad controller and have a blast playing the great selection of Wii U games. As you can see here from the selection menu, they have a variety of games from many of Nintendo's famous franchises. So which one will you be playing if you are at the Nintendo World Store? Once you finish playing on the Wii U kiosk, we are greeted to an area where you can pick up and purchase the latest games available for the Wii U. Like the merchandise around the store, the selection here are constantly rotated. Some of my favorite games shown here for the Wii U include Toad Treasure Tracker, the amazing action-packed Bayonetta 2, the awesome Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and the fast-paced Mario Kart 8. And speaking of Mario Kart 8, I do play online frequently, so if you're interested in joining me, be sure to add my Nintendo Network ID so we can get together and have a lot of fun. Moving back to the center of level 2, we are now moving toward the Pokemon Center. A piece of historical information that you may not be aware of. The current Nintendo World Store used to be a store totally dedicated to Pokemon named the Pokemon Center. It was eventually closed on January 2005 and was reformed to the current Nintendo World Store that we all know of today. In this area, we find a wide selection of Pokemon merchandise. And if you're a big fan of the franchise, I think you will find something amazing to take back home and add to your collection. They have various plushies, small to medium sized figures, plushie keychains, and a t-shirt of your favorite Pokemon characters spanning various generations in the franchise's history. Other items found here are Pokemon manga volumes, anime DVDs, and popular trading card game with its array of starter and booster packs. Going through this area of the store reminds me of my time playing the original Pokemon Blue back when it first debuted on the Game Boy in 1998. I would spend countless hours training, battling, and catching all the Pokemons in the game and at the same time, every day after school, it was a joy to come home and catch the latest Pokemon anime hearing the slogan, gotta catch them all. As a child, I also delved into the world of Pokemon trading cards. I would compete in local tournaments trading cards with friends to enhance our decks, collecting rare first edition prints of cards, and also just having a blast doing so. Pokemon was a phenomenon back during my younger days, and its popularity can still be felt to this day. The Nintendo World Store is like a nostalgic walk through memory lane, reminiscing the fun pastimes you had as a child. Toward the right, passing the Pokemon Center, you will find a large section dedicated to various Nintendo merchandise for you to explore. In this area, there is an expanded selection of plushies like these awesome Luigi plushies from Luigi's Mansion, Super Mario Bros. U, and Super Mario 3D World. And if you need some bedroom accessories, the Nintendo World Store also got you covered with these Super Mario themed bed sheets and comforters. Toward the bottom, you'll notice some of the more obscure Nintendo plushies from Pikmin. They are rarely seen in other retail stores, so if you love the franchise, make sure to grab these. Here in level 2, children's Nintendo themed clothing takes center stage. You will find Mario t-shirts to outfits that make them look the part of Mario and Luigi. Mario being Nintendo's mascot, the store would not be complete without having some Mario plushies representing himself. You got Flying Squirrel Mario, Cat Suit Mario, two coin blocks, and large Goombas toward the bottom to choose from. For children who is a bit older, they also have a selection of Nintendo t-shirts ranging from the Super Mario Brothers, The Legend of Zelda, and Mario Kart with different designs to suit different tastes. 
Kids of all ages are covered, but make sure to ask the Nintendo ambassadors for clothing size you need but not present on display as they will be on hand to help you. Moving away from clothing, they got an amazing array of toys starting with the Super Mario 3D Land and Super Mario Bros. U Connect sets. With Connect's rod and connector system, you can combine all your Super Mario building sets to build bigger or you can design your own unique levels using your imagination. On these cool display stands, anyone will be amazed to find such a variety of character plushies to choose from. I am sure you'll recognize your fair share of recognizable characters from the Nintendo universe. To name a few, they have villains such as Bowser, Wario, Blooper, Pokey, Fuzzies, and Dry Bones. On another stand, if you look carefully, they have Animal Crossing plushies, and beyond that, they have a selection of Baby Mario, Yoshi, Cat Peach, and Princess Peach to choose from. If you have a child going to school or you're going to school yourself, why not take what you need in these Mario themed backpacks and bring your lunch in these lunch carrying bags. On level 1, the adults get to have Mario themed sleepwear. The kids also have a choice of various Mario Brothers matching set sleepwear to choose from as well. If you love the Mario Kart franchise, the Nintendo World Store has an awesome array of Mario Kart collectible pull and speed kart racer packs. And if that wasn't enough for you, you can purchase this amazingly large Carrera RC Donkey Kong. With this remote control kart, you can get Donkey Kong moving at a full speed of 20 kilometers per hour or 12 miles per hour. Moving toward the bottom, the store does carry various World of Nintendo figures and the Mario Brothers Universe Microland Layer Cake Desert with Yoshi playset. For those of you into playing or collecting Skylanders or Disney Infinity, the Nintendo World Store also stocked numerous non-Nintendo products such as Activision's Skylanders Trap Team and around the corner you will discover Disney Infinity figures are available as well. One of the biggest attractions at the Nintendo World Store and it's a must see for anyone visiting is the Nintendo Showcase. The showcase is separate into two parts. The first scene here is the museum and is currently showing the evolution of Nintendo handhelds. On display, starting with the Game & Watch, is a line of handheld electronic games produced from 1980 to 1991. It was created by the late game designer Gunpei Yokoi. He moved on to creating the very successful line of handhelds we all know as the Game Boy. The Game Boy went on spanning many generations entertaining gamers around the world with the Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and lastly the Game Boy Advance SP. Later, Nintendo continued its legacy with its successor, the Nintendo DS and 3DS. The second part of the showcase displays some of the popular fighters from the Super Smash Bros. universe, with items and games of each fighter's respective game. In case you're wondering about the banner in the center, the store hosted the Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 3DS National Open Tournament on October 11, 2014. Be sure to stay and watch a photo slideshow where you get a chance for a more intimate look of this showcase. This concludes my tour of the Nintendo World Store, ending off with this awesome Pikmin statue. Be sure to stay for my conclusions. Well gamers, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth look of the Nintendo World Store. Uh, as, as I'm pretty sure you guys were seeing many surprises, many changes that uh, this what this store has to offer. And I appreciate you leave me down below in the comment section of what your guys thoughts of this entire presentation and also what things that have surprised you and what things that you enjoy to have in your collection. So I'm pretty uh, cool to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, please be sure to give me a thumbs up if you especially like this video to help me spread the word of this video to the entire world. And uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media such as Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. You find me at Danny4842 and you see firsthand what happens in my collecting world and any updates are happening on my channel. So this is Danny4842. Thanks for watching at my Nintendo K channel and I hope to get in to talk to you again soon. Bye.